Hello there, YouTube. It's Ro here. Thank you for visiting You Grow Ro. If this is your first time here, I hope you'll consider subscribing at the end of this video. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you. Today, we're taking a look at a mail call I got, a surprise mail call. I'm super stoked about it, and I hope you enjoy what I'm going to be showing you here in just a moment. So this wonderful package came from one of my fantastic subscribers. Her name is Susan and she sent this to me all the way from Indiana, I believe. I did not know it was coming. Well, I shouldn't say that. A few days ago, I posted something on my community page, I want to say, on my community feed. And uh, she mentioned at that point for me to check my email which I did right away. And that's when I found out that she had sent me something. She gave me the tracking number, I kept track of it. And over the course of the next two days, I watched as it made its way to my mailbox at my office. So then today, um, or, or Saturday, Saturday I went and I picked it up from my office. It was delivered in the evening, which was shocking because she had expected it to arrive on Friday and that's not when it came it came on Saturday evening either way um, my office is not very far from my home so I went and I picked this bad boy up and let's take a look at what she sent me so according to the email that she sent me I have received one plumeria cutting that is already rooted and then I received two rooted cuttings from Angel Trumpet and then another four, which I'm holding in my hand right now, cuttings um, that are not rooted for the Angel Trumpet as well. She included those for me to be able to try out rooting on my own. Didn't she just think of everything? How wonderful is this lady? So yeah, I have Plumeria and I have Angel Trumpet which is also, I think the official name is Brugmania, Brugmania. All right, so I'm going to start with the Plumeria. I believe that's this guy here. She says this is a tropical succulent and it needs to be treated as such. So she also says this is very top heavy, so I needed to um, find a heavy, heavy uh, pot to put it in. I found one. I don't know if it's big enough, but um, I wasn't able to prepare for this because I didn't know it was coming. It was a surprise. It was a surprise. So um, we're just going to have to use what I got for now. So I got this beautiful piece my mom got me this um back when i bought the house and whatever was in it died a long time ago <laughs> so now i have something to put this in now susan says that this likes well draining soil and she says that um miracle grow is too dense of course, that's what I have. So I'm gonna add vermiculite, oh, I mean, uh, perlite to help with how dense the micro, uh, the miracle grow is. All right, let's start filling it up. So I've got it about halfway full with the miracle Grow. Now I'm just gonna top it off with the perlite and mix it all up. I think I got this pretty well mixed up, but there's some chunks in this. 
Miracle Grow. So I'm gonna break those up with my hand. In the meantime, Plumeria, she says, is the flower they use to make lays with over in Hawaii. So I know they're beautiful. And this is a plant I'm gonna have to bring in in the winter because it can only take um, temperatures down to 50 degrees. So this is gonna have to come in in the winter at which time I believe she said it would go dormant and lose its leaves. And then in the spring, um, it will start forming new leaves and whatnot. And she says the biggest problem you can have with plumeria is overwatering. So I have to be careful with that, especially now. She told me um, not to water it until uh, I see new growth coming at the top of it. So let's take this back. She packed this so well. My goodness, Susan. She is a plant rock star. <laughs> I'm feeling a, a decent amount of pressure here. <laughs> like this isn't something that I bought for myself. This is something someone else sent me, uh, presumably from her home. I don't know. Oh, great. She's already rooted it. Nice. Yeah, even in the medium that she sent it in, that is a lot of perlite or vermiculite. So I, I didn't go overboard. I'm pretty confident in what I've done here. That's better. I think that's, that looks good. All right. And I'm supposed to set this in the shade. And that's what I'll do. I'll set it in the shade and wait till I see new growth on the top there. Not to be confused with that little piece of new growth that's already there. It came that way. So I need to see something other than that. But I think we're done here. Moving on. Okay, next she gave me cuttings for Brugmansia, which is also known as Angel Trumpet. Those are those big, huge flowers that hang downward. So I got a lot of cuttings here. These aren't rooted. She said she's sending them to me so I can practice rooting them. Um, because after a while, at least for her, she grows them in containers. But after a while, they get to be out of control. And so then she just cuts it all back and starts new plants. And so um, she's in Indiana. And uh, it's likely I will have the same situation. So I got lots of little cuttings to work with here. Um, she says you can, she has rooted them in water before, but um, they're prone to rotting. So I'm not even gonna give that a try. Just like the others, she wrapped this so well, you guys. <laughs> Oh, now see, this one's rooted already. Oh, I see. Okay, so she gave me two cuttings that are already rooted. And then I have these four tiny rootings to, um, these four cuttings to practice rooting with. Fabulous. Susan, you thought of everything, you clever lady. Oh my, look at these. That's beautiful.
Okay. As for the soil for this, she said Miracle Grow is perfectly fine. The Miracle Grow fertilizer, maybe not so much, but it's doable. So I can still work with this. So right now I'm just gonna pot up these two that she gave me that are already rooted. Again, um, <laughs> I don't have pots. I, I wasn't expecting. So we'll see how they do in these two pots I got here. Um, I think I have some pots in the garage, but Tim has the clicker and I don't wanna wait I wanted to get these into soil as soon as possible. I picked these up yesterday because um, she sent them to my office. So I picked them up yesterday on Saturday and um, I didn't get to do anything with them. So they've already been in shipping for several days and then I let them sit again overnight. So I don't want to wait for Tim to get, come home with the clicker and you'd be able to go look around in the garage just yet. It's not gonna hurt anything. I mean, I say that, but this is fine for now, I'm sure. So let me just get this second one potted up. <clears throat> and another thing she mentioned about this, these plumeria, is that they don't mind wet feet. She's like, they like warm weather and moist air. She, she said to think Florida. So um, when I bring it in in the winter, and again, this, these are new other plants that I'm gonna have to bring in in the winter. It gets too cold here. It will be much like the, um, the tropical succulent there, the plumeria to where it will defoliate during its dormant season and I'm not to water it a whole bunch. I'm telling you, Susan, you got a lot of faith in me. <laughs> I would have never gotten this for myself. Um, yeah, I appreciate you. But if she believes in me, I'm going to give it a try, so. A little bit more. You know, it, this might not be too far off. I kept those plants from... Uh, the, the mandevilla and whatever that big tropical leaf plant was from my office alive over the winter in order to plant it out this summer. So, you know, this might not be a stretch for me. It might not. <laughs> I think, you know, it's just like I said, I'm feeling a little bit of pressure because she was so kind enough to send this to me. I would hate, 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 hate to kill these somehow. And I already broke off one of the leaves. Okay. I'm just filling it up to where she had the soil level in the bag. And then I'm gonna put these in the shade as, did she tell me? Well, I think she did say put these in the shade for a while. Again, until I see some new growth. All right. That was easy peasy for both of those. Now, let's see if I can get these rooted. Time for some practice. Yay. 
Thank you so much, Susan. I know I've said it like 10 times already. These cuttings that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do these individually. So I got um, these here. I don't know what they measure, but I got four of these, because I got four, four cuttings. And I do have rooting hormone. This is the Garden Safe brand Take Root. So I'll be using this. Start by putting a little soil in the bottom of each one of these. It is Sunday, July 28th, 10.30 a.m. and it's got to be 80 degrees out here already. It is balmy. Okay. Put some soil in the bottom there. And I'm gonna take the bags, one of the bags that she sent and sprinkle some of this on here. Oop. I just don't want to uh, stick those root these cuttings right into my rooting powder in the in the jar. Okay. And then I have my little mister. Take the excess off. I, that's what I've done. And then I'm just gonna plant it. I've actually seen um, and thought about buying some angel trumpet before. I get mail from Brex. They do like bulbs and stuff like that. And they always have the most beautiful um, angel trumpet varieties. This one, what did she say it was called? I believe she said this one is um, called Apricot Moonflower. Doesn't that just sound pretty? Okay, <clears throat> one down, three to go. All right, friends, that does it. Everything is all potted up. Here are my five little ones that I'm going to try and root on my own. 
There's my two larger, the plumeria and the uh, angel trumpets. The two angel trumpets there uh, in their pots. Hopefully those will be okay. And that does it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and share with your friends. And I will see you guys on another day and another video. Until then, happy growing, my friends.